Hello, welcome to ShropshireStart.com. My name is Johnny Drew. I'm here alongside Shrewsbury Town correspondent Ollie Westbury for a, well, Shrewsbury Town update, analysis, discussion on yesterday's goings on. Ollie, the worst kept secret in in Shrewsbury, in, in the EFL, in League One, potentially, was confirmed yesterday as Steve Coxall um, departed the Montgomery Waters <coughs> Meadow after a, a lengthy and uncertain process for, for Salop fans. He's finally gone. I'm sure you've... Uh, breathed a, a sigh of relief that there's confirmation is that the uh sort of general consensus now you know this has been sort of on the cards for a number of weeks now you know it was sort of confirmed that he was going to be leaving last week and now it is confirmed I suppose is it a case that a line can be drawn under it and shoes we can move on now yeah I think the conversation the, the conversation the confirmation is is what we what we've been waiting for for a while I think everybody has known um I think the writing <clears throat> was perhaps first on the wall when the club announced they were creating that new football board and they didn't tell they didn't tell Steve about it. And then again when, you know, he publicly went out and said he found out about the approach of Cheltenham's Mickey Moore, you know, via reports online. He said he was uncertain about his future. And you know, if the club were going, wanted Steve Cottrell to stay and, you know, if Steve Cottrell wanted to stay, they would have come out and they would have quashed any rumours, wouldn't they? Um, a week or two after the season to say, no, this is this is nonsense. He's our man, blah, 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 blah. Uh, which did not happen, did it? Um, and it's dragged on and on and on and on. And eventually yesterday, we finally had the confirmation that we kind of all knew because of stories that broke towards the middle and end of last week that suggested that he was set to leave the club. Um, so, yeah, that's, wh- that's where we find ourselves really um, with with Steve um, and yeah, now he's left the club. There's a number of questions that, you know, fans are asking and we'll discuss some of the statements that have come out. Obviously, Roland Witchley put out uh, another statement yesterday, the chairman of Shrewsbury Town, but I think one question fans had is why is it taken, you know, so long? You you referenced it in your comment piece that's on the Shropshire Star website this morning that fans can, can have a look at. It's a very good piece sort of surmising what's gone on, but what fans are asking is, why is it taking so long? You know, cl- clubs are now already planning for next season. You're already bringing in players. Shrewsbury are behind the curve. You know, Mickey Moore, the director of football, is going to have a big task on his hands. One, to appoint a new manager and and one to sort of build the squad for next season. And I suppose the last month has, has hampered that. Yeah, I think the fact of the matter is, is we don't actually know why it's taken, why it's taken that long, um, to be honest with you. Um, it feels as though... You know, the longer it's taken, the more kind of frustration and anger. And, you know, it's not done the club any favours whatsoever with the with the time that it's taken um, to kind of sort this situation out. The same with the release and retain list, you know, the, the, the communication between the club, um, you know, and the fans has probably not quite been at its best. And, you know, that has led to... You know, the position where we kind of find ourselves in now where everybody feels well, it seems as though the reaction is that everybody's like is 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 very annoyed and frustrated and kind of unsure of what direction that the club is going in at this moment in time. Alongside alongside that, you know, we've saw we've seen sort of this, as you say, coming for a while, you know, a lot of rumblings. Cottrell didn't know about the football board. Prior to that, you've mentioned it in your piece, you know, his sort of comments about the budget that he's got, you know, and competing in League One. Um, and it was a line that you referenced in your in your piece, um, Ollie, that Roland Witchley, in a statement a, a few weeks ago, put, despite regular financial uh, meetings and warnings, that spending is greatly exceeding income and budgets. It continues unabated. Um, and then in the statement that he put out yesterday, um, sort of a quite telling line is that from time to time, circumstances arise when difficult and unpopular decisions have to be made to safeguard the very future of our club. We currently find ourselves in a, in such a position where we would be failing in our duty if we shirk those decisions. And I sort of reading between the lines, there obviously has been a clash there. And it, it from what you can read on that, it comes down to finances at the end of the day. Is that sort of fair to say? Yeah, I would say if you read between the lines, there's a disagreement. Um, you know, Steve, from getting to know Steve, he's a perfectionist. He wants to compete. He is desperate, absolutely desperate to win games of football and try 
trying to interview him after they've lost. Understandably, he's quite emotional, um, and he is he is a winner, and he. You know, you could see, you know, I reference it in those comment pieces, but you could see in those the kind of frustration um, from from the fact that if they'd have spent a little bit more, perhaps in January, they could have, you know, kicked on a little bit and really kept up, you know, chances of a playoff push. But, you know, they didn't. They got weaker in January. And it feels as though, that you know, that the two parties kind of want to go in separate ways. The chairman is obviously concerned about the budget and the spending um, and, you know, uh, Cottrell, the, the opposite, kind of wants to improve his squad, wants to keep building, wants to kick on from a good, successful season. Probably, you know, managers always want more, don't they? And I just don't think that that is the position that, that we're in. I mean, it's reading between the lines, you know, but, you know, that fight, that statement that Roland Witchley put out a few weeks ago um, on the completion of the season, where he just talked about budget, 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 budget. And you could tell how concerned he is about the spending at the club. Um, we don't know the levels of concern. Um, we don't know how serious it is. Um, but nonetheless, um, a, diff a difficult scenario either way. Is it a case of sort of the manager's ambitions and the club sort of, not pragmatism, but sort of, like he says, about wanting to, you know, spend within their means it sounds like they're not spending within their means don't align you know Steve Cox has got ambitions to take Shrewsbury higher but you know Shrewsbury want to be a football club that you know is sustained Dave Edwards mentioned it referenced it in his column this week sustainable um, is it a case of just the two parties as you said not aligning in terms of ambitions or in terms of visions moving forward and that's ultimately what's brought an end to it Perhaps yes. I mean, there, there. That's my opinion. That's not based on anything that I know. Um, we don't, we don't know that. But you, you probably wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't have thought. You know, it's not a difficult jump to make from the statements, <clears throat> and from the way that the manager, you know, spoke about the club's position in post-match and pre-match press conferences. You know, I referenced that in that piece that I wrote yesterday, um, <clears throat> and. It's one of those things, really, isn't it? That you know that we. It's probably better for all parties now that they go the separate ways, and you know they kind of, you know, try and build on on on. It's still a successful season last season. They've still got the the nucleus of a good squad together, um, but you know, like I referenced, you know that we understand the players and staff are very very disappointed and sad to see Steve go. Um, so, you know, it's going to take a big personality to come in and pick them up off the canvas because you kind of feel like everything's a bit flat. In terms of potential replacements, that's what fans now will start to, to speculate about. What do we know about the managerial search, Ollie? Is it something that was already underway or do we expect something to happen soon? Because like we said, Shrewsbury are already sort of behind the curve in terms of preparing for next season. We do have a managerial update. But I'm not going to, I'm not saying, saying what it is on this video. Uh, there'll be a story about it, hopefully. out. It's not a big update, but it's something I think fans will find interesting. Um, so that'll be going in, will be going online this afternoon. So you'll have to keep your eyes peeled on ShropshireStar.com. Exclusive that. alert, Holly Westbury. But in terms of that sort of search, do, is there any indication of what, you know, Shrewsbury went for an experienced manager last time in, in Steve Cottrell, you know, an operator who's done well in, in the Football League. You know, it'll be interesting to see which direction they go in. There's there's a lot of managers on the market who've got that experience at the moment. You know, the likes of Carl Robertson's out of work, Danny Cayley, people like that. But also, you know, a lot of clubs go in other directions these days and appoint young coaches. MK Dons have done it with, I think, Liam Manning, Cambridge. You know, Ipswich have had a lot of success with Kieran McKenna, who came from Manchester United. Um, That'll be interesting to see what direction now with a director of football shoes be going. Yeah, yeah, no, it will be. <clears throat> it will be. I have an I, I have an idea of what kind of direction they're going to go down, um, and you'll have to keep your eyes peeled yeah. um, for that story. Um, it's, it's not it's not that it's not that big news, but it's probably. But but yeah, there's a story that will be going out at some point today um, on the managerial uh, situation. Ollie keeping us in suspense. Just find out in terms of. Uh, length of time do we expect it to be sorted quite quite quickly I suppose that's a question that Salat fans <clears> will certainly be asking in terms of what's already happened and the time that it's taken to to move Steve Cottrell on 
Well, I think Mickey Moore <clears throat> now comes into his own. This is his this is his baby, really, isn't it? This is what he is now. You know, this is what he's been brought in to do. I'm assuming that it will be him that leads the managerial search. He will be be yeah. He will be searching for the right candidate to kind of you know start getting the the club on on the right path going forward. So you know, I imagine that um, yeah. I I I I I it will be down to Mickey Moore now as as they try to get the replacement in sooner rather than later. There we go. Keep an eye out for uh, Ollie's big exclusive this afternoon, and we'll be talking further about what's been going on the season um, and potential managerial news when we record the last Shrews views of the campaign. We've been waiting a few weeks to do it. We've been sort of holding our breath with the latest news, and obviously now that's finally been confirmed. We're going to wrap up the season in tomorrow's podcast. So for all the rest of your reaction and news on the Shrewsbury managerial search, head over to shopshastar.com.